Hey friends, hey, it's your girl Vondra and welcome back to my channel, Typical Black Queen. Like a queen, like a queen, like a queen, queen, queen upon her throne. Can y'all believe that there's literally only less than two months left in this decade? Like it's been a whole like 10 years. With these twists, I probably look like young as hell, but I'm really old. 10 years ago, I was 23. I'm 33 now and I'm not gonna lie, I still kind of feel like 23. If you feel comfortable, talk to me in the comments. A decade ago, how old were you? 10 years ago, how old were you? And tell me, how much of a difference do you feel about yourself then than you do now? Let's jump right into it because I do not want this video to be super long. Let's go right into our shout outs. Natasha Mitchell Hendricks, hey girl, hey. Hopefully you joined in on that Q Redo No More Damage Challenge and got that 15% off by using typical black queen code at your checkout because we all know that we could save a little coin. Read Black Beauty commented two times. She said, hey, so hey girl, hey, and she said she loves her Q Redo. Girl, me too. J Ray Lee, hey girl, hey, this is my first time seeing you. Welcome, what's up? I'm so glad you loved the tips from the last video and I hope that you use them in your healthy hair practices. And if you're new here and you are not subscribed to my channel, Make sure you do that because I only share my tips, techniques, and all the tea with my friends. And the only way that you can become my friend is by tapping that red subscribe button below. Let me give y'all a disclaimer right now. This style that I'm about to attempt, keyword attempt, is my first time attempting it. So it may not come out right, it may not come out how I liked, or it may not come out how you liked. But at the end of the day, at least I tried, right? So I saw this style a few months ago on Twitter on an account called Melanin Mommies. It was a 60 second video, so it didn't give any detail. It just showed me how to do a bomb ninja bun with bangs. And baby, I want bangs. I'm not sure who the pretty young lady in the video is, but I'll find out her name and then I'll put it in the description box below. I'm gonna be using hella different products because <laughs> this is not sponsored. So I'm gonna run those past you real fast. So if you are watching this video to achieve this look, you won't have to get up and go find these things. You can go get them now. y'all let's see if we can make this work my hair is dirty with product buildup so there was no point of me shampooing and cleansing it when all i was going to do was throw a bunch of more product on top of it i have a lot of hair and it's starting to get longer so i use my q redo to detangle and stretch and then put in chunky twists just to help out with the process the process to get all this hair up into a top knot is the same exact process that i use for my sleek low bun i'll link that video above Okay, let me be totally honest. I am not a fan of that Diva Curl Ultra Defining Gel. It's my first time using it and I just don't think it's right for my hair. It literally just sat on really thin and it didn't lay anything down. But I didn't have any other gel to use, so went with that. Just like my sleek low bun, I work in sections to ensure that my hair lays flat. I have very dense hair and it would be bulky if I just tried to put it all up in one. I also twist the ends of my hair because it will turn into a huge bush ball and I won't be able to put the ties on as tight as I need them to be. Styler black castor and flaxy oil is my favorite gel to use to get my hair to smooth down and to look sleek so I'm going to dig that last little bit out and use that on the front of my hair adding cream of nature's perfect edges extra hole edge gel is the perfect mixture to sleek those edges back spray some of that freezing spray around just to keep my hair laid and in place and then tie it up with a scarf.
like I said, the video that I was inspired by didn't have that much detail and I have no clue what type of hair she used. But I have a bunch of braiding hair that needed to be used, so I used it. I took a whole pack and I cut that in half at the rubber band and then added a hair tie to the middle of the half section that I had and tied that around my bun. I split this little makeshift ponytail into two sections. One section being a little smaller than the other and that's to create my bangs. I took a few small pieces from the larger section and wrapped it around my bun just so the hair would blend well when I started wrapping the full section into my ninja bun. Using the got to be glue, a holding spray, it kind of just held the pieces in place as I wrapped it around my actual hair. For the bang piece, I just fanned that section out over top of my forehead and I kept it, of course, long because I didn't want to overcut and then have some shabby bangs that were up above my eyebrow. never cut bangs before and it was super hard but I think I got the shape that I wanted. Now this part was all an experiment. I had no clue how the flat iron would treat the braiding hair. This braiding hair was super cheap um, but the texture matched mine so as soon as I did it I was excited. My flat iron heat levels go up to an 8 notch. I had it on 3 when I was flat ironing the braiding hair. At this point my bangs are entirely too long but I'd rather them be long than too short. Okay friends, so this is the final look. I really do like it, but I do see what I could have done differently. My top knot could have been pulled forward a little bit more to shorten the length of my bangs. My bangs start back here and then come all the way here. It's very hard right-handed cutting my bangs to give it a shape, doing it this way. So this is my first time actually cutting hair into a shape. I think I did a really good job. Y'all feel free to let me know what you think. I do like it, so I'm gonna rock it. It's not coming down. I'm definitely gonna do it over again and do it a little bit neater and pull my top knot to the front a little bit more. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up and if you really loved it, leave me a comment and please feel free to share. Oh, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button, okay? I, I, I subscribed to Oh, you did? You subscribed to my channel? Yep. <gasps> Dimitri subscribed to my channel. Mm. Follow suit. See you later, girlfriends.